All right, welcome to it. It is the Plan B After Show podcast, web exclusive, web exclusive. exclusive. The uh, Empire. Yeah, the Empire. Can't believe you thought that was McLovin. It's doing McLovin, that. I'm serious. Yeah, ridiculous. Real ridiculous. trap shit. Yeah, ridiculous. That was really, I took a job. <laughs> Uh, Walking anyway, let's, let's get to it. Uh, we'll get social with what's trending today, October 10th. Um, let's see. Uh, here's what's kind of going around the Twitter spheres and the Googles and whatnot. Uh, after a game ending fumble, people are critiquing the quarterback sideline interaction with Broncos coach, Sean Payton. Obviously they're talking about Russell Wilson, mm. him and Sean Payton got into it. Hmm. I know I didn't see it. I didn't see what happened. I, I didn't either. I didn't have to go watch. Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, well, you were know, they pissed off at each other? Were they fighting? Yeah, probably. I had a lot sure of rough things what? about uh, Russell Wilson over there. Him having his own office in the locker room. Like, yeah. I guess the players are just kind of fed up. Here's though. He's not performing. He's not performing yeah, exactly. well enough to be that guy, to be that prima donna. So yeah. he might need to take it down a notch or two, Mr. Yeah, Wilson. Yeah, you don't see him in too many commercials anymore, do you? No. Yeah. Bronco right. Nation, roll out. Whatever. Roll up. Roll up. Welcome, Nation. Yeah, his whole own team was making fun of him for crap. Yeah, yeah. You got to perform. That's the scary thing about commercials. I, 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 I always use Baker Mayfield as an example. Uh, before he, you know, went to the NFL and started winning, he was doing commercials. I'm like, dude, you, you're setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. When yep. you throw an interception and they go to commercial break and it's you, it doesn't look good. It doesn't yeah. look good for the company. And maybe if you you weren't taking time making commercials and focusing on your play, right? Yep. No, I'm right that there. happens a lot too, because typically yeah. after an interception, they go to a commercial, and a lot of yep. times the person who threw that interception, hey, I'm the guy who just threw that commercial. interception. Yeah, yeah. Well, clearly. clearly, they should record like two commercials. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Russell Wilson. I just threw that touchdown you just saw. Or <laughs> hey, it's fuck. me, Russell Wilson. I know you hate me because I just threw an interception, but but try this listen, product. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> that would be clever. <laughs> that would. They, they should. They should. You know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, hey, so I'm Russell Wilson. You probably hate me right now. Yeah. You probably hate me this whole season because we're because we suck this season. Uh, <laughs> Nation. Uh Amazon Prime Day today uh, and actually tomorrow. Do you get excited about Amazon Prime Days no, anymore? Isn't it Prime Day? I feel like it it's like Prime Day like 20 times a year. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I might go check it out anymore. You know, like there's, there's the problem is there's nothing that I truly need right now. But mm. yeah, they got the the shopping deals going on. Right, and another thing, is it ever? Is there ever a deal? I don't think I've ever done Cyber Monday where I'm like, dude, that's I, no, now no, because it's the same thing. Like when you go to Kohl's, oh, you saved this much? No, I didn't. No, Shut I didn't. up. There's, no. The original it's always price that price. Was, yeah, it, the original price was not one hundred and fifty dollars, and I got it for thirty dollars. Okay, that's not a good business plan, Kohl's. Oh, you got Kohl's bucks. Shut up. You Shut can't up. just say that. I'm gonna start doing it's that like, at garage sales. It, originally, it was a hundred dollars. Yeah, now right. It's, now it's a quarter. Well, well, Martha, it's your garage sale, so I don't think you can say that. Yeah, it's. It's the same thing like Menards. They always do their 11% off. Yeah. Every single day, everything's 11% off. Yeah. That's not a fucking thing, Menards. It's not a deal. It's just, just mark it, it down. Just it's, So that's the price. Yeah, that always has bothered me about <laughs> Menards. Everything is 11% off. What are you fucking talking about then? It's not a Every savings. Every day, event. all day, all the time, yeah. then it's just yeah. that price. Yeah, that's it's just that price. Exactly. Yeah. You're not fooling. Actually, you're still fooling people, I guess. Well, go look, honey. It's 11% off. Good deal. Uh, uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, so Prime Day, I'm still going to give Jeff Bezos some money, I'm sure. I got yeah, something I could probably. probably buy. So got stuff in my cart, in my <laughs> in my list. Uh, my my list is uh, is is getting pretty ridiculous. I'm going to be honest it. with you. I haven't been on Amazon in quite some time. I, I yeah? I think I got everything I needed. And like, yeah, right. I ran out of ideas to blow money on. Got enough. Yeah, no, I, uh, uh, let's see. If I go to my, uh, mine is called Brock's Junk. A lot of fishing stuff in there. I guess a I did buy me. some DJ cables lately. That's the last yeah. thing I bought, though. Uh, yeah. You know what? Some new things I've added recently: a pocket sluice box for gold prospecting. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna go sluicing. <laughs> what? How do you even think of that? What? Because let's say I've been watching Yukon Gold on Quest, oh, and they all have sluice boxes. Which you know what? Did I have this conversation with you real quick? Really, we need to stop. 
like promoting like Yukon gold and Alaskan gold and gold hunters. Dude, yeah. it's terrible. Like you watch them like blast away at mother nature with this yeah. big hose. Just so what we can get gold to make jewelry. And yeah, yeah, it's because pretty fucking when you think about it, like we are affecting the planet, digging up the earth, man, you and know? the surrounding like area. So we can get gold. All yeah. right. Like it's pretty fucking terrible when you think about it. Yeah, why? Why is it so valuable? Because somebody one day said that that that's. I mean, I, I get I get it. It's extremely rare, and they're probably using it for. You know. Well, you know, you yeah. There's gold and computer components and everything right. like that. I know that, but otherwise, though, people are also getting it on their teeth. And exactly. Right. It's like okay, if you're telling me, look, we need this for life saving equipment. Okay. All right, well, let's, you know, but when I'm watching a, some guy a using gross. a bull, using a bulldozer to just rip up the earth, it's kind of like, Ugh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen best. that show that you watch that show a lot. I, I, when I don't want to just go aimlessly through Netflix and not find anything after an hour, I'll throw mm. on quest and everything like that. And yeah, and watch like uh swords life on the line, which is a sword fishing, mm-hmm. uh, a sword fish fishing show or whatever and all that shit so yeah. anyway classic male shows sunday yep. morning fantastic but mm. uh honestly that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so what's going on so oh, we else? did it. hey six minutes of we did it good enough good enough <laughs> for our three people that'll watch us all right we'll see you guys <laughs> next time on the plan b have to show podcast web exclusive later